No, it's important. The first goal is really important in any game. I thought, um, you know, I thought our play was a little bit edgy up until that. Um, a little bit nervy. You know, the crowd get a little bit anxious also. Um, you know, we didn't play with any fluency um, throughout the first half. Uh, made a change, bringing on Jay Kelly gives a little bit more natural width than Curtis down that side. And um, you know, I thought he did that, and obviously got on the end of a well worked move. Um, you know, so we get go one nil up, and I think um, we started growing confidence a little bit. You know, we, we started to play with a little bit more of a, you know, um, a little bit more of a swagger, if you call it call it that. You know, where we're passing the ball, we're moving the ball better, we're keeping it, retaining it better. Um, and and I thought we asked a lot of questions of Finn Harps in the last 20 minutes or so. Certainly, the the second goal, obviously, um, you know, killed the game then at that stage. And I thought it was another well worked move. You know, um, Jake Kelly's movement inside, Mark Quigley picking out uh, Izzy's run, and it was a, it's important for Izzy to to get in the score sheet because it's been a number of weeks um, since he's done so. Um, you know, but it's a vital it's a vital three points. Um, we kept a clean sheet. We rode our luck once or twice in the first half. To uh, to be fair, but. Um, you know Stephen Best coming into the team. He's still only a young kid. Um, he hasn't played in over a month since the Portsmouth game. Hasn't played a lot of games throughout the course of the year. Lorcan Fitzgerald coming back in um, as a natural left-footed uh, fullback on that side. So there's there's plenty of positives, but also there's lots to lots to work on. Um, the last time we spoke, we spoke of uh, players coming into the squad. Since then, we've uh, lost a couple with uh, Dave Mulcahy and Eamon Ben Mohammed. Uh, how has that affected the squad dynamic? Well, there were two important players for us for a start. Um, you know, really, you know, we were reluctant to let Dave Mulcahy go. Um, you know, but in realistic terms, it was um, it was very difficult for us to stand in his way. Um, you know, he's he's got work commitments in the Munster area. Um, you know, they're, they're obviously offering him um, more money, um, and also the chance of possibly winning a, a league title after 17 years in the League of Ireland. So. Um, it was difficult because Mullers has played a lot for us and, and he's done very well and been a, a good servant to the club over the last few years um, and he's a leader in the dressing room so that, that was disappointing um, Eamon Ben Mohammed, the move to Tunisia came out of the blue for us a little bit so um, again it's, um, it, it's your hands are tied to a certain extent in relation to that so um, you know, but it's an opportunity for other players to come through um, we will be looking to, to, to add to the squad, um, uh, there'll be news on that over the next day or so um, and uh, you know, hopefully you know, the fellas will step up to the plate because uh, we need them, we need them and uh, it's a squad game and, uh, and uh, I think you can see that tonight, um, that we're going to need everybody between now and the end of the season, substitutes, players on, uh, um, you know, coming into the, the game having an impact, I thought Owen Weiran coming off the bench had a positive impact for us as well. Um, again, looking to, to play positive football. So, um, but it, it was a real important three points. Um, let's not uh, let's not uh, hide that fact. And we next face Cork. Um, is it slightly easier going into what is going to be a tough game on the back of a win? No, there's no doubt about that. Um, obviously, tonight we'll have no bearing on what happens down in Torrance Cross next week. But you know, the mindset of the players obviously alters a little bit. It gives them a little bit of confidence because we've, we've had to dig it out. It wasn't easy tonight. Finn Harps made life difficult for us. Um, you know they had five, uh, five players. Um, you know defenders. Uh, they, they basically played a, a five-four-one um, in the first half when they were out of the ball. When when they had possession, they played a four-four-two. So they made they made life difficult for us, and they got bodies behind the ball, and it's hard to to penetrate uh, teams. It's um, you know we spoke to the players about moving the ball a little bit quicker in the second half, getting the ball wide, getting the ball down the sides of them, and see see what happens. Um, uh, but we got we, we got some uh, good goals tonight, and, and I'm pleased with the win. Cork next week will look after itself. We'll recover tomorrow and get the, get our eyes ready for for, for Turner's Cross next week.